Wow. Wow. Wow, this is this is some really deep stuff. I don't know what just happened, but something happened inside of me. Something snapped, something sick. I wasn't expecting that either. Ah, uh, sorry. It's okay, it's all right. It's beautiful. <laughs> Monster is like really small, but it had to become that to stop me. And then her child became present when you mentioned it. And I didn't realize this until now. There were things that I didn't remember yeah. until now. It's funny, I haven't seen that before. It, it feels like I'm the monster. I'm kind of seeing images of things. Of a, of a world where they can exist. This clarity brings all kinds of answers. It's clear. She like hugged me and then went back to her place, I guess, in my heart. Oh, it wants to come out. <laughs> it wants the bippity boppity boop Cinderella me. Like, <laughs> she's like melted into like my chest. It's like ooey gooey. All week, been finishing things, cleaning up more. Started eating vegetables again last week. <laughs> and it kind of just started happening. It's almost like I just finished going through a meditation session. I feel light. Like, you know what you. When you hit that first joint, like in the morning, and you... I actually feel a lot more um, awake. change your relationship with or any thing that's been up for you anything that's been getting in your way um oh well, well there's two things that come to mind one is um the part that's afraid to just to sit with the fear you know the part that wants me to just like distract and numb um and then there's this other part that maybe maybe this part is for next time but um that seems to take pleasure in denying me things that are just things that I'll enjoy or be good for me mm. So like if I'm thinking about, you know, going to the beach or going for a walk or doing something that I'll enjoy, this part's like, oh, that's not important. You should just keep being productive or, you know, um, just doesn't want. And, and then the, there's like, I don't know if it's like a martyr energy but kind of like a pleasure in denying, you know, does that make any sense? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Some, some kind of like righteous feeling of, uh, of yeah. being, yeah, being high-minded and not frivolous. Yeah. I guess maybe the, the first part that I mentioned um, is probably more prominent right now. Okay. All right. So, so you have the, you have a sensation of fear that's like the roller coaster feeling. Yeah. And you've been trying yeah. to sit with it. Is that yes. the short of it? And then, and when you're trying to sit with it, are you, is that in a parts paradigm or is that just, or how, how, what does it look like when you say you just sit with it? Well, a lot of times I'm, you know, the first 
first thought is like, I'm so scared. I feel scared. I feel scared all the time. I'm scared of the world. And then I have been able to say like, okay, this is a part. Um, this is a part of me that's scared, you know, but I still feel kind of, I guess, blended with it. Um, and usually if I'm sitting with it and actually allowing it, like I'm, I start taking deep breaths mm. and I guess trying to make, trying to, the deep breaths kind of calm everything so that it doesn't feel, so it feels tolerable, you know? Yeah. And do you, do you address it as a part? Do you say, Hey, scared part, what, what's going on? Or, or is it more? Um, yeah. I kind of, well, I'll say like, it's okay to be scared. Um, and you're safe, that kind of stuff. But, I haven't really tried to talk to that okay. part. So is it, it's not a part that you have the same visuals that you have had with your, with other parts. It's not one that you have named. Uh, no. Okay. And how do you feel? about it just right now as we're talking about it. Um, I feel compassionate. Like I understand why the part wants to work so hard to protect me because I've felt such intense fear my whole life that I I think it's just natural that it would go, oh, there's fear. Let's get rid of it. You know, let's cover it up or do something to forget about it. Right. So, so that part is the part that had, had covered up the fear has relaxed and allowed you to sit with it. Does that sound right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, not always, but yes, right. when I'm, like taking me breaths and yeah. Okay. Um, so where do you feel that fear? Um, on the left side of my chest. Okay. And can you deepen your access to it? Can you see yourself turning towards it or just looking for any other uh, energy or shape or anything that it uh, wants to show you? The energy kind of feels like the worker elf that I had, but this one feels feminine um, and kind of like it's what it reminds me of is like if you've ever seen maybe even in a movie or something like a battered wife who, you know, there's spilled milk and, and she's like frantically trying to clean it up. And just like her job is to kind of put out fires and um, just watch for any potential imperfection, you know? Yeah. And like to quickly fix it and clean it up and, Okay. So, 
So we'll see what you can do to make that part aware of your presence and let it know that you would like to get to know it a little better and just see how it reacts to that. She did, she's busy. She doesn't know if she has time. Okay. And you are feeling, you're feeling curious and compassionate about, about her? Yeah. You let her know. Okay, she's okay with that. Can you get her to slow down just enough to have this conversation or just ask her to or any other way to just turn towards you? And you, know, you could even imagine kind of looking her in the eye perhaps or... Um, just seeing how close you can get to her and get her attention. Okay. Yes, she's okay with that. Great. So try asking her what she wants you to know about her, about herself. My um, my grandma comes to mind because actually she, yeah, it's a lot of the same energy where, um, you know, she's stayed with my um, abusive grandfather for like, they were married for like 70 years or something. Um, and she's just all constantly like cleaning and tidying and um, just making sure she, I guess that was her coping skill, um, you know, in addition to making everything safe was just, you know, make it, make the place perfect, but also stay busy. Yeah. And I guess you could ask her how she feels about that job. She's just, it's like, well, this is all I know. Um, she doesn't, yeah, she doesn't really know any different. Mm -hmm. And what is she afraid would happen if she didn't stay so busy? 
Or if she were to just relax. I think she's mostly afraid of being uncomfortable with the emotions. Yeah. So, yeah, I wonder if she's worried about, you know, if that's what she's protecting is, is that pain or overwhelm or whatever emotion uh, is hiding or yeah behind that yeah yeah i think so so let her know that you understand that about her and about her okay. job and about her what about her job and that you okay. appreciate her concern for yourself and your system Kind of feels felt like as I was telling her, like I grew. Um, and she kind of, and this sounds weird, but like she kind of grabbed onto me and like I grew and she stayed small. And, um, Like kind of we grew out of above the house and then <laughs> like I see it as my grandma's house and she's like looking down and kind of like slipping them off, being like slipping the house off, like fuck you, I don't have to do that anymore. Yeah. Yeah. And it sounds like you're you're happy about being there with her? Yeah. Ask her what she would rather be doing with her energy inside of you. I see her like meditating. Um, yeah, like basically meditating and kind of, um, I don't know, like being in charge of sitting with emotions and. Hmm. Do you want to um, ask her about the 
if there are other parts that she protects and 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 maybe look into contacting those. Okay. Um, maybe the, maybe the terrified part. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, you know, I don't want to move on too quickly from her if there's more that you know, to ask her and to work with her and to, um, you know, there are other questions like what she needs from you in the future that you might want to ask of her. So I would, I would just check in with yourself and check in with her on if now is the time to, which way we should go. Okay. I'm not in any hurry. I mean, I, I take that back in this call, this call does need to be, <laughs> you know, under that or around that hour mark. Um, but in, in the big picture. Mm -hmm. I think she's okay to go and move on. Okay, thank her. And yeah, just try to make sure that she's in a place where she's comfortable and, and let her know that you can check back in with her. Okay. Um, Yeah. So, so do you have any image of, of that terrified part? Or where that feeling comes from? Yeah. Um, Yeah, it's like in the dark. Um, kind of imagine like um like a dark warehouse um and like she's sitting in the dark in a cage I, and how do you feel towards her
I feel sad for her. And what's that sadness like? Like a heaviness in my chest. Uh -huh. I'm curious if that's a, a sadness that, um, that makes you want to go forward or a sadness that makes you want to go back kind of feeling. I mean, I definitely want to get to know her. Yeah. I want to go forward, get to know her. Okay. So you sure you have permission from any parts that might feel like that's too much or might be overwhelming or anything like that? Wanna, okay. I just want to check one last time. And if so, you know, if, if they have their doubts, just let them know. Um, but we can, we can talk, we can hang out with them more and talk about that or if they're willing to give space, then we'll go forward. Okay. Yeah. I mean, there's definitely a part that's scared. Um, but it's willing to give space to get to know it. Okay. So can you get closer to this? part that you see in a cage. And let it know that you'd like to, well, let it know who you are and that you'd like to try to help it out and get to know it. She kind of laid down on the ground, like she looks kind of defeated or like dissociated. In the past, you've talked about a feeling of hopelessness with some of the exiles. Yeah. Is this exile, and you might just ask her, is she one that we've met before? I don't, uh, I, she's like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. And how does she feel about you getting to know her? She 
she doesn't really feel anything. Okay. Just, okay. Um, try asking if she feels like you understand the situation she's in and the pain that she's dealt with. I feel like she's irritated, like, um, at the idea of having to explain to me and yeah. Well, and that might bring me back to the question before of, is it because she's already explained it to you? I mean, if this is an exile that we've met before, um, then I think I would have a different approach. Mm. And, it, um, you know, maybe it's not a black and white yes or no thing, but. Be good to know. Uh, just, I mean, she does feel similar to the one that was like hiding under a bench. I don't know. I can't tell if they're the same. Yeah. Feels similar to them. Yeah. You could just ask her if she knows about your work with the other uh, parts. And I don't know, maybe you can kind of show her. Um, how you've helped them and and also you could let her know that she doesn't have to tell you everything she doesn't have to tell you everything to to be on your team and to let you help her How's she reacting? Um, I, it doesn't, it seems like it's, she's different, um, than the other part and she,
I guess she's feeling less frustrated right now. Um, she's feeling like overwhelmed at trying to figure out if she's the same as mm, yeah. the other one. Yeah. Yeah, she doesn't have to do any of that work. And neither of you have to share anything with me. So how, you know, do you have an intuition about how you can go be with her? In a way that would let you and her have that trust and Yeah, trust and um, intimacy. Uh, probably just holding her. Do you want to give that a try and see how she reacts? Okay. Or an offer to her? She's okay with me being there and holding her. She's a little, she's still disconnected, but she doesn't. Like she likes me holding her. She's just not fully present, I guess. Mm. That's okay. I think on your own time, you could just ask, you know, if there's, if there's something she wants to show you, or um, if there's something she wants you to do for her, or that you think that, you know, you two think you could do for her back in that time, or if she's like to just come with you out of that, out of that place in time. And let's skip all that. I don't know. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'm showing her how I 
you know, obviously in my mind, um, killed the monster uh-huh. last time. And she's happy about that. She wants to go with me. Okay. I think my only, my only reservation about kind of skipping the step of what you might do in that time is, um, if there do, if there does, if you do need to understand, you know, how more about her story, how she found herself in that place, and and you know, just that important step of um, doing something different, so that it it might not feel like. It might put an end to that uh, possibility for her, but on the other hand, if you've if she's seen your other work and trusts you, then yeah, I would just trust your judgment on that. Okay. I'm kind of imagining, you know, the movie The Wizard of Oz? Yeah. And when the witch dies and then the uh, all the soldiers uh, you know, that were working for the witch then are they see, you know, that she killed the witch and and they all kind of then join in to be happy about it, you know, mm-hmm. which is dead. I kind of feel like that. Like, like she's just realizing the witch is dead. Yeah. Yeah, just reminder reminder of your age, and and yeah, maybe she keep showing her some of those, um, some of the celebrations that you've had, and that your parts have had, going to new places and getting to scream out their pain and uh, coming alive.
So does she feel ready to come be with you and, and stay with you? Yes. Okay. That can be wherever you two want. So show her some options. Or let her show you some options. Yeah. There's a house on the beach she wants to go to. Great. Go ahead, take her there and And yeah, see if there's, see if she's ready to unload any of the feelings that she was carrying around, any of those burdens she was carrying. And ask her where in her body she was carrying those. Okay. I think in her body, they're like, or in my body, it's like the solar plexus area. And, uh, and what else? What was the other um, question? The questions were, um, yeah, if she's ready to get rid of them and where she's carrying them in her body. And yeah, that was it, you know, then, then, yeah. then offering to, you know, how, how she would like to, to give them up. I think she wants to throw them up. Yeah. So take her to a place where she can do that and just let her do that until it's all out. Okay. And check to see if there are any other parts that have that same kind of feeling of they want to, you might want to throw something up too. Um, can be good to kind of show 
options. Okay. It could also be good to bring in her protector, that grandmother part. Oh. Yeah, there's some like yelling and howling and really seems. Uh -huh. And how uh, do you feel when you think about? sitting with that fear, you know, tomorrow, next week, and if this, if it kind of comes up again, do you have ideas about, and you might ask the parts how, how you can connect with them and what they need from you? Okay.
think they like um, me meditating and dancing. Nice. Do you feel like you can find time, more time for that? I think so. I hope so. Yeah. I was thinking about my own parts check-ins and, um, you know, I have like a two-year-old part that I check in with and he, uh, he's always kind of likes cuddling and likes being under the blanket, um, likes playing too, but you know, for me, that's kind of how I greet that part is like, is in that kind of cuddle space and, yeah. and it doesn't really change. It's like, that's, that's the same feeling every time. Um, yeah. And I don't know if you're, if you have the similar experience with your younger parts, but, um, I don't know. I'm just relating my, my experience of kind of having that regular rhythm of, of connecting in that way. Yeah. So you cuddle, like you get in a cuddle. Yeah. On a yeah. Position. My check-ins, you know, I, I kind of ask all the parts what's up, but then I also just have this, and my idea is like, I need to go give everyone a hug. They all want a hug. And I, I do actually keep a, a list, but I can, I can do it from memory and, and trust that I'll, I'll get most of them 90%. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's to me, that's kind of like the bare minimum is like, I'll just, I'll just say hi, give a hug, let them know I'm here yeah. kind of thing. Let them know I'm here for them. I'm making time for them and that I'll be here tomorrow. And if they have anything that's going on, they can say hi and let yeah. me know. Um, and it's always pleasant for me. To check in. Yeah. I mean, at first it's, it's at first it's like, oh yeah, I have to do this thing. And there's that little moment of like, oh, I have to do this. Like I have to brush my teeth and I have to exercise. But the second I realize what I'm doing, it's like, wait a minute, this is awesome. You know, like here's all these parts, here's all these personalities that I didn't know. I didn't have a picture of just six months ago that yeah. that love me and appreciate me and I love them and appreciate them and uh, I'm thrilled to to check in with you know yeah um, and it is in that kind of like celebratory way you know it feels great that's cool Well, I do have to get moving. Is there more that you'd like okay. to share or? No, I'm good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for sharing. Thank you to your parts. Okay. Check in with them tomorrow. Okay, I will. Okay. See ya. All right, have a good one. Bye. Do you want to help bring more self energy to the world? 
If you'd like to participate in calls or help out with this project in any way, I'd love to hear your ideas. Join the Discord server or contact me at james at liveifs.com. A huge thanks to our audio engineer, Zikri, for your care and diligence in editing the calls. To every caller for your courage in sharing some of your parts. And to anyone out there getting to know their internal system, keep going. Who knows, that might be the most selfless, helpful thing you can do for others, and you're the only one who can do it. If you'd like to see us reach the largest audience, we must please the almighty suggestion algorithms at iTunes and YouTube, and they don't care about the power of IFS. They're looking for likes and shares and comments, and the sooner the better. Follow the links in the show notes right here in your podcast player to make your wishes known. And now, a minute of meditation. Or if you prefer, pull over. You can do it in 60 seconds. Just click one of those links. They're right there and give us a like or a five-star rating. It would really help. If you think this project is helping people, you're helping people by sharing it. Thank you.